Today we'll hear statements by the honorable members for the District of Placentia, St. Mary's, Placentia, West Bellevue, St. George's Umber, Stephenville, Porta Port, and St. John Center. The honorable, the member of Placentia, St. Mary's. Speaker, the town of St. Mary's has a mother-daughter award-winning duo. Each year, the 4-H National Awards recognize extraordinary contributions of supporters, volunteers, and alumni who embody the mission of 4-H and make an impact on the youth and the communities they serve. The Volunteer Leader of the Year Awards are given to a leader in each province. Yvonne Bishop of the Zodiac 4-H Club, a resident of St. Mary's, is the 2023 Newfoundland and Labrador Provincial winner. Her daughter, Amy, is a 2023 4-H Canada Leadership Excellence Awards of Distinction recipient of a $20,000 scholarship for the Pillar of Environment and Health in the science field of study. Amy will receive $5,000 annually while attending Memorial University. Amy first joined the Zodiac 4-H Club over 10 years ago. She has held every executive position and credits 4-H with developing her leadership skills and helping her find her voice. She has sharpened her public speaking skills, racking up awards at competitions. Amy was a highly active student in high school, earning three back-to-back -back Scholar Athlete Awards for athletes who maintain a grade average of over 90%. Congratulations to the mother-daughter duo, Yvonne and Amy Bishop. The Honorable Member Placentia, West Bellevue. Thank you, Speaker. Today I rise in this Honorable House to recognize the Marystown Lions Club in the beautiful district of Placentia, West Bellevue. The Marystown Lions Club was chartered in May of 1974, and on April 27, 2024, just this past weekend, I was honored to join them to celebrate their 50th anniversary at their annual charter night. The Lions are a nonprofit organization made of volunteers who come together to raise money and give back to their communities in, a time, in any time of need. The Marystown Lions take part in and host many events, including the Lions Recycle for Sight, Community Meals, Goods Bingo, and, a, and participated in Earth Day with their electronic recycling. From helping individual needs, supporting other nonprofit organizations, and being strong community leaders, I stand here with pride to know we have such a great organization in our community for the people to utilize and admire. Speaker, I ask all members of the 50th General Assembly to please join me in congratulating the Marystown Lions Club on their 50th anniversary and wish them many more years of great success. Thank you. The Honorable Member St. George's Umber. Speaker, I rise to pay tribute to Beverly McCosick of the Codrai Valley, who passed away peacefully in March of this year, surrounded by her, her loving family after a courageous battle with cancer. Many people in the district of St. George's Humber know Beverly as a nurse practitioner, but through her career spanning over uh, four decades, she worked as a registered nurse, a nurse practitioner, and a nurse educator. Her legacy is one of compassion, professionalism, and a relentless pursuit of patient care excellence. Uh, Beverly's devotion to nursing took her to various regions of, within the province and across the country, including Canada's north. Her tireless efforts left uh, a mark not just on her patients, but on those who she inspired to become uh, health care professionals and follow in her footsteps. Speaker, Beverly served in many communities in the district I represent and was well liked and respected uh, in the community. Uh, I ask all members of the House of Assembly to join with me in sending condolences to her family and paying tribute to Beverly McCosick for the contribution she has made to health care in this province. Thank you, Speaker. <laughs> The Honorable the Member Stephenville, Port of Port. Thank you, Speaker. <clears throat> About three years ago, Tracy Boland, the Stephenville resident, observed that seniors were struggling with some of the simplest things in life in order to stay in their own homes. Tracy decided to organize a small but mighty group of volunteers who were willing to take on the challenge to help. This group called themselves the Guardian Angels for Stephenville Seniors. Their main mission is to provide assistance to seniors 
who are living in their own homes. Since starting the program, the Guardian Angels have helped seniors with a variety of tasks, such as providing rides to doctor's appointments, shoveling driveways, minor home maintenance, or any other need that presents itself. They have been distributing food hampers, as well as hot meals and cold plates to combat the rising cost of living. The group relies on the generosity of local businesses, as well as individuals who come forth with monetary donations and food items. Children from the local schools got involved by designing cards to brighten the seniors' day. The biggest issue among seniors, as identified by the group, is loneliness, and the guardian angels are working hard to make seniors' days a little brighter, one senior at a time. Thank you. The Honorable the Member St. John's Centre. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, Cody's Metal Works has produced custom <coughs> ironwork and kept the art of blacksmithing alive in St. John's since 1882. That's 142 years. Ronnie Cody is the fifth generation to run the shop. William Cody started Cody's Forge on the current site of Sir Humphrey Gilbert Building in 1882. Several moves and 94 years later, the business reloc relocated to 110 Lime Street in 1976. People still visit the shop to reminisce or for small repairs. Ronnie serves the everyday customer doing small welding jobs when most modern shops will not. Ronnie and his father, Ron Sr., are proud of their family businesses, community support, longevity, and resilience in a changing world. From hammering out 6,000 horseshoes a year as late as 1970 to fabricating ornamental spiral staircases to serving the fishery, forestry, agriculture, and mining industries, if it was made with metal, they made it. Cody's Metal Works still produces custom work, ornamental gates and railings for homes, home decor, and service repairs. You can see their quality work throughout the city. Ronnie and his dad acknowledge the challenges facing small businesses, but continue to work hard and thrive. Please join me in recognizing the resilience and determination of the Cody family. Thank you.